Hello friends and welcome to virtual story time at the Chippewa River District Library. My name is Christy. Will you join me in singing the hello song? Ready? Here we go. Hello friends. Hello friends. Hello friends. It's time to say hello. This week we are talking all about cats and I have a lovely cat book to share with you. Let's take a look. This is They All Saw a Cat by Brendan Wenzel. They All Saw a Cat by Brendan Wenzel. The cat walked through the world with its whiskers, ears, and paws. Hmm, do you see the whiskers, ears, and paws on the cat? And the child saw a cat. And the dog saw a cat. Oh, the cat looks different now when the dog's looking at it. Do you think everybody sees the cat a little differently? And the fox saw a cat. Yes, they all saw the cat. The cat walked through the world with its whiskers, ears, and paws. And the fish saw a cat. Ooh, and the mouse saw a cat. And the bees saw a cat. Yes, they all saw the cat. As this book goes on, it talks about all different animals and how they see this one animal, the cat. It's a really cool book that shows you that you can see the same thing, but it looks completely different depending on your perspective. If you'd like to hear the end of this book, you can check it out from our library, along with lots of other awesome books about cats. And I will put a link in the description so you can go to our website and put a copy on hold for yourself. Will you join me in a song? For this song, we're gonna pretend to be kitty cats and we're gonna sneak up on a mouse and then scare it at the last minute. Are you ready? Here it goes. I'm a little kitty cat, nice and sweet. Here are my whiskers and here are my feet. When I go out hunting, mice beware. Otherwise, they'll get a scare. Good job, friends. Thanks for singing with me. For our next activity, we are going to be writing together. So you can grab a piece of paper and a pencil if you'd like to follow along. Uh, you can have someone trace the word for you, and then you can just practice following the word that they've traced. Or you can just follow along in the air um, or watch as we practice talking about letters and spelling. Today I've done something just a little bit different. Instead of writing the word out to trace, I've put these little dots. So that's a great step if you're a parent helping a child learn to write. It can be kind of fun and also great practice to follow the dots to form words. And you can even make simpler versions than letters, but just practicing connecting dots is a great pre-writing activity. So here we go with the word, hmm, you can't really tell what it is today, can you? I guess we'll have to follow the dots and solve the mystery. I'm gonna start here. This looks like a capital letter. Hmm, what letter is that? It's a C. Next, it looks like we've got kind of a circle and a line, A, finally another lowercase letter, one line that way, one horizontal line, T, C, A, T, C, A, T, cat. All right, we've written the word cat, we've talked about cats, we've pretended to be cats in a song. What if we pretended to be a mouse that was afraid of a cat. 
This rhyme is called the Little Clapping Mouse, and in it we're going to clap and rhyme together. So you can just follow along with me at the end of every verse. We're going to do two claps like this. Here we go. Behind the tree and under the house, there lived a teeny tiny mouse. She loved to sing. She loved to tap. But most of all, she loved to clap. She clapped all night, she clapped all day, she clapped to frighten the cat away. <laughs> Meow! <laughs> For the next version of this song, instead of clapping, I'd like to try tapping with some rhythm sticks. If you don't have traditional rhythm sticks, that's okay. Pretty much any two objects just like the spoon and spatula can be tapped together just like a rhythm stick. So that's what I'm gonna use today because I just found these around my house. All right, let's try the little tapping mouse. Behind the tree and under the house, there lived a teeny tiny mouse. She loved to sing, she loved to clap, but most of all, she loved to tap. She tapped all night. She tapped all day. She tapped to frighten the cat away. <laughs> Thank you so much, friends, for joining me for that rhyme. Friends, through the magic of editing, I'm here at my house since we're talking about cats. I wanted to introduce you to my favorite cat. This is my cat, Rory. Can you say hello, Rory? Normally I do not hold Rory, so she's not loving being on camera right now. She kind of likes to do things on her own pace and I'm sort of forcing her into this and she's not a fan. Rory is a very sweet cat. She likes to sleep and sometimes she likes to play. She likes cuddles, but mostly when it's inconvenient. Isn't that just the way it is with cats? I actually adopted her from the local animal shelter here. Have you ever been to Hats? It's a really wonderful place, and I was really glad that I went there because I got Rory, and she is a wonderful cat. If you have a cat at home, and you'd like to share what you like about your cat, or maybe a picture of your cat, please post a picture, or tell me your cat's name, and let me know if you have any cats in your house, because as a cat owner myself, I would love to hear about it. All right, Rory and I will say goodbye so that we can get back to our regularly scheduled story time. Okay, friends, it's time for Is This a Cat Trivia. I'm going to show you a picture. It could be of a cat, either a domestic house cat or a big wild cat, or it could be a picture of something else that isn't a cat at all. And I want you to tell me is the picture of a cat or is it of something else? Here we go. First picture. Is this a cat? Oh, look at that animal. It's orange, kind of fluffy. It's got dark vertical stripes going down its back, doesn't it? Hmm, maybe it's a little bit scary. What do you think? Is this a cat? The answer is yes. This is a cat, it's a tiger. A tiger is the largest species of cat that lives in the wild, and they are great swimmers. Unlike domestic cats, which don't like water, tigers can swim long distances. They can swim up and down the rivers where they live. What about this? Is this a cat? Hmm, whoa, okay, this animal is furry like a cat. And do you see those ears? Do those ears look cat-like? Hmm, what about the tail? Does it have a cat-like tail? Is this a cat? The answer is no. This is not a cat. It is a wolf, which is the largest type of dog. So if you thought it looked more like a dog than a cat, you were right. What about this? Is this a cat? Hmm. 
Oh, this guy's got whiskers. He looks like he likes climbing trees. Do cats like climbing trees? Hmm, is this a cat? The answer is no, this is not a cat. It's an animal called a binturong, but they are sometimes called bear cats because they look a lot like cats and kind of a lot like bears too, don't they? What about this? Is this a cat? Oh, wow. Look at the spots on this animal. And he looks very thin and lean. Hmm, is this a cat? The answer is yes. This is a cheetah, which is a type of cat. Cheetahs are not only the fastest cat, but they are the fastest land animal. They can run up to 60 miles an hour, which is so fast that if you are going 60 miles an hour in a car, you better be on the freeway. What about this animal? Is this a cat? Oh, okay. So we've got a mask. We've got some fluffy fur. We've got whiskers. Hmm, what do you think? Is this a cat? The answer is no, this is not a cat. Do you know what it is? It's a raccoon. That mask is actually a good sign that it is a raccoon. They have those masks around their eyes and they have stripes on their tails. You can also see that a raccoon has very different hands from a cat. Where a cat has very paw-like hands, raccoons have hands that almost look human. They're able to move their fingers independently, which helps them scavenge for food. And while they may not be cats, they sure do like to steal cat food. Okay, last one. Is this a cat? Hmm, it's got interesting ears. Hmm, do those look like cat ears? What about its eyes? Its eyes are pretty big, aren't they? Hmm, is it a cat? The answer is yes. This is a type of cat called a palaces cat. Palaces cats are sometimes the same size as our friends, the house cat who live in our houses, but they look a little bit bigger because they are so fluffy. The palaces cat has the longest fur of any cat. They live in the Himalayan mountains and they need that big furry coat to stay nice and warm. Awesome job with trivia today. Thanks for playing the is this a cat game with me. Well friends, story time today is at an end. Will you join me as we sing the goodbye song? Goodbye friends. Goodbye friends. Goodbye friends. It's time to say goodbye. See you next time. for you. Nope. Okay. Nope. Let go of the bed. Let go. Nope. Nope. How? How are we to hold? I'm gonna scratch up my shirt a bit. No, don't bite me. You are not an actress, are you? Let's go. The hair is on that story. Look at Roy's. Oh, God, I look.